Okay, I'm gonna palpate on a spine. And then I have my lovely assistant Shauna over here and Shauna's gonna help me out. So we've already talked about this in class, but this is how things are gonna go when you, when you feel it on an actual person. Um, we're gonna find the mastoid process. You may or may not be able to feel this uh, lovely S, uh, C1 here. C1 may be hidden by the mastoid process. It might not be. Um, so you can see it is quite prominent. Actually, you can't really see. There you go, now you can see. Um, it's, it's quite prominent in its TVPs, so you may be able to feel that. It might be hidden by mastoid, and that is fine. Um, we have our fingers lined up. So C1, C2, C3. Okay, if you find C3 again, C4, C5. This doesn't really have the greatest lordosis, but <clears throat> when we see it on Shauna, you're gonna see that there's a bit more of a lordosis there. And then at about C5, you're gonna have to start working your way back down towards the table to continue to find those, those uh, TVPs there. We can also do the same thing from the SPs at the back here. Again, not perfect because the spine needs to be repaired a little bit, um, but I'm not gonna be able to feel um, C1. C1 is gonna have your suboccipitals on it, but it also doesn't have a uh, spinous process. So I'm gonna find the spinous process of uh, S2, or C2 and then C3. Um, again, finger width. For some reason, this one has a weird gap there. It's almost like there's random T-spines there. It's very strange. Um, but it should, it should be even all the way down. This, this gap right here should not be there. That's very strange. Um, but you should be able to have one finger width uh, all the way down to be able to feel those SPs. And then coming from the SP, there should be a lot of musculature here in this groove, this laminar groove. And then right on the other side of that, you're gonna feel something a little bit harder and that is gonna be your articular pillar, which is right here. We definitely want to be able to find our articular pillar. And then on the other side of the articular pillar is going to be your TVPs. So we'll have TVPs, articular pillar, um, laminar groove, and then our SPs. And those will be the structures that we'll be palpating as we go from medial to lateral or lateral to medial. Okay, so there's my spine. I'm gonna get Shauna to lay down. Beautiful. She remembered to put on makeup today. Oh, I did not. <laughs> um, so first I'm going to start by finding her TVP. So I've got her mastoid process right there. And her C1 is very much hidden. So C2 is the next one down, which is right there. And then C3, C4. And then at about C5, you can see I'm starting to like fall down towards the table. C5, C6 is right there. And then C7, you may or may not be able to feel. It's quite, quite far down, very much into the upper trap, but that is your C7 right there. So it does make this, this arc. From C1 to about C5, you should be able to follow it along the posterior border of the SCM. You can see I can lift up the SCM right there and that borderline. That's where the first part of her TVPs are gonna be is right behind that SCM. And then at about C5, it'll start to fall away from the SCM and go back down towards the table. So those are your TVPs. And then from the TVP, if I go just a little bit medial, I should be able to find this kind of harder um, column, which is the articular pillar. So TVPs go a little bit medial. That is gonna be my articular pillar. Continue medially. I've got my laminar groove, which has a ton of musculature in it probably does not complain about me massaging that a little bit right there. And then if I go a little bit more medial, right there is gonna be her SPs and I can count down her SPs as well. Okay, so when you're working on a patient, you wanna be able to, or on your body or whoever's body, you wanna be able to identify those TVPs, those articular pillars, that um, laminar groove, and then the SPs, which will be all the way at the, the very, very center. Sometimes people have a hard time feeling things because they're going back and forth like this. Finding the articular pillar is gonna be really difficult if you end up running up and down along the articular pillar because you won't be able to identify it. So try going a little bit more perpendicular and moving your fingers back and forth this way and you'll be able to feel how the structures change. Um, and you don't necessarily have to find, oh, this is the articular pillar. 
But even if you just practice going, oh, that feels different from that, and that feels different from that, and that feels different from that, it will give you an idea of how the structures are changing. And then once you get better at that feeling, you'll be like, oh, that, that harder thing in the center, that was the articular pillar. That's what I was feeling there. So that'll be your palpation of the bony structures of the neck.